and we're live. We're live. Live from space craps. <laughs> space craps. <laughs> space craps. We're live from space craps. Uh, let's see who's here. I see Tubi's here, Megs is here, Kid Vet, Dom, Polly, Paul, Mutina Turner, Chugger, Mold Over, Tabiero or not Tabiero. <laughs> Hey, Xanderfist. If I did not say your name, it's just because I don't see you've written a message yet. Welcome. Whoops. Is Tui have a new brain? No. Tubi's just moody. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Why Tubi, Tubi sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Well, it's just, I think it's the idiosyncrasies of this older computer. Possibly, possibly next week, Tubi will be have a new brain. Um, but more likely it's going to be in uh, two weeks, I think. Yeah, I need to get some software for it, um, and then I have to do some coding to make it all compatible. We have some new falls Intel eighty two X Chubby Wombat X Talos Scout Chaos Talos Chaos Talos Talos Chaos maybe. Kaboom 233. Hey, Lonster's here. Chugger. Meg says Tubi's going to go off to meet the wizard next week. Oh, Meg says the sound theme. Have I been stretching a little? I could always do more. What did I do today? What was I working on? y'all have as hard of a time as I do remembering what I did even four or five hours ago? It's so difficult. Oh, there's no timer? Uh, why isn't... Oh, did I turn it off? Oh, no, there is a time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not right. There should be a timer. Um, why is there no timer? Oh, I didn't turn that on. Thank you. And for the reminder. <laughs> so we have day two. We have our second chance at um, second chance at uh, our Z um, our Z our uh, food reward food reward There it is. There we go. Meg says, I'm so brain dead right now. I don't remember what I did 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm almost, almost tempted to, to, to anonymously donate to myself just so we can have this reward. <laughs> that would not be very smart, though. Um, let's see. 
There we go, request loading up. This is oh, it's expired. That doesn't make why well, is it? That doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to be two hours or an hour and a half. <laughs> I know. I'll give us. I'll give us a little more time on the timer today. Just to, uh, or how do I do that? How do I do that? Oh, I do it from here. Um, And Coffee Man with a six month sub. Thanks, Coffee Man. Thank you. Polly's got us started. Thank, thanks, Polly. Thank you. Big donation from Polly. Thank you so much. Let me let me W up. Thank, thank you, Polly. Thank you. donation from Megs too. Thank you, Megs. Megs says, I haven't had sugar, proper vegetables, or carbs in two weeks. Please let me live vicariously through these recipes. Wait, why haven't you had vegetables or carbs? Vegetables are good for you. And carbs are not bad. Just too many carbs. You should have some carbs. Okay. Oh, your allergies, keto. Oh, okay. Uh, Coffee Man says, how do you get started with coding, programming? I did it when I was in uh, junior high and high school, I did a little bit of coding just for fun. I just, thought this is cool and I did it a, a bit um, and then I didn't do much after that until yeah for a while um, and then almost all of my I, I think you know people learn in different ways um, some some people really like to learn theoretical and you know study something very formally I'm not really like that except with practicing music. Everything else, I'm pretty much not interested unless I can apply it. <laughs> no, that's not totally true. I mean, I, I enjoy being informed and reading about the world, but in terms of learning, um, so with coding, all my coding experience is beca it's because I had something I wanted to make. I wasn't, um, at least after that, those early high school years. Um, so, so that, you know, if, if 
for some people that can be overwhelming and they and I think some people feel like oh, I really want to know everything before I start the project or I know a, a bit I'm too impatient once I but but that gives me that forces me to learn stuff but it does mean the downside of my style is that it means that my learning is very haphazard I only learn just enough that I need to to to, to do what I want to do but often there might be a much smarter way to do it but I didn't ever learn that. I only learned that the you know the way that I do it. Um, so I, I think I think a mix of styles is probably best for most people, and a, and a mix of style. And, and and in fairness, like for this show, I had the idea for the show, and I knew I had to code. Um, I knew I had to code the drum generator. I knew I had to code all these custom looping controls, and that meant I had to use this program called Max. So I actually did some formal study of Max. Where I went through a bunch of tutorials. I read, you know, I, I I went through their whole sort of beginning cycle. But the only reason I was motivated enough to do that is because I had these specific things I wanted to code, and I figured I'll more efficiently code them if I. But in many cases, I was even as I was doing those tutorials, I was already working on my projects, and sometimes rewriting, you know, redoing it because I realized that the first way I did it was really stupid. And and after I'd learned some, I you know could redo it. But so I, I think I think ideally a, for most of us a balance of that is probably best. You know to have some sort of project that so you see this is why I'm learning. Um, but some people might be extreme and just need the project to learn, and some people might really just you know getting a CS degree before you really any build build anything substantial. You know. It really depends about finding what the right combination is for you that's going to get you excited and motivated, I think. Um, and, and sometimes, I say, you know, there's often things will change, right? What will work for us at first might not after a while, and we need to sort of do something. Um, so, but that's, that's my own experience slash approach. Hey, Lady Quill. We're going to feature Polly's first drum loop. And... And... Launster's fifth drum fill and fifth song. Muty, you pickle everything. Vinegar is key for longevity. Yeah, I've never learned how to appreciate pickle flavor and vinegar type flavors. But again, I'm I'm gonna I'm planning on living a long time, so it's it, there's gonna be some day, and it's just gonna be eye opening subtly. I'll be all about the pickle. <laughs> you know, just because we don't like something yesterday doesn't mean we won't like it today. And vice versa. I, I really was not into the blues at all. I did not, I was not, I like jazz blues okay, but but just in the last couple of years, I've started really appreciating the blues. You know? Never would have predicted that. Meg says, I feel so betrayed. I thought I knew you, said the girl who can't do mangoes because they're too sweet. <laughs> oh, because I... Oh, um, Moody Thursday with scuba divers. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, because of my, oh, because of the stream title. I did change the stream title back, right, to something more normal. Yeah. Okay, we're back to normal. But that's a good idea. Moody Thursday. Moody Thursday. 
find an image that involves scuba diving and post it on our Discord. Find an image that best captures your current state of mind. It can be a photograph, be art, anything, just that, that incorporates scuba diving in some fashion that best matches your current state of mind. So I don't, you know, you might try typing in Barney Google scuba diving and ecstatic if you're feeling ecstatic or scuba diving and whatever. And you might find something that perfectly matches. Paste that image in Discord along with hashtag Moody Thursday. Let's see. Media says, most pickled stuff gets ruined by white vinegar. Try apple vinegar or rice vinegar. A whole new world opens up. Every cell in your body decays and gets remade. Every seven years, you get a new body. I lost and gained three allergies over 21 years. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I use vinegar for is cleaning my humidifier. Yeah, I... I you know you're supposed to clean humidifiers very frequently? It's sort of crazy how frequent. You'd think that they would have designed a way so they don't have to be cleaned so frequently, but they haven't. Maggie says, I have a very important question for you. Apparently it's Girl Scout cookie season when I visit the U.S. next month. Best flavors. Best flavors. Dom says mint. You know, Dom, mint, mint's another thing that I'm not, not a big fan of. I don't mind it. You know, if there's enough sugar, I'll, I'll, I'll take that mint. But, but uh, I definitely don't, I don't, I, given two choices, with mint, without mint, I'll choose the without mint. But again, life is long. One of these days I'm gonna wake up and mint is gonna be the best thing in the world. I'd zero out. I'll uh, see, see you coffee, man. Thanks, thanks for that resub. Okay, melody time. Media says, no mints, no raisins. You're really missing out on the finer side of life. I do, though. I, you know, I love water so much. I mean, I, I feel very fortunate to love something that is so common and ordinary and is, is basically free. You know, I mean, it's not really free, but almost free. I, it's, it's hard to express how much I love water. I, I, I don't endorse things, really, at all, but I endorse generic water. H2O, I, I, I endorse it. You heard it from me. I'm a sellout. <laughs> Buy water. Well, get, drink water, okay? Drink water. It doesn't count if it's not just water. If you're drinking soda or juice, yes, there's water in there. But it's not water. Let's see. Melody time. We're in G Dorian, we're making a melody for Paul. Mm. 
Nice, just take your own advice and hydrate. Now I'm assess boo is just sixty percent water. Why don't can't you get dehydrated? Isn't that the thing with when you drink too much you get dehydrated? How does that work? Because it's you're drinking water, but what what is it what is it that ha does anyone know that why that is? Or am I misremembering? Is it not does it not dehydrate you? I'm gonna use those notes. Oh, it's not really sixty percent. Yeah, I don't. I don't know a lot about the uh, the uh, how alcohol is made or the components. Let's see. Showed. Is there an alcohol made out of vinegar? Is there a vinegar alcohol? And muti. Is there a pickle? Is there a pickle alcohol? Because only they make out. They'll have. Vodka's from potatoes, right? And then I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I know that. I don't know any other ones. But are there? Is there a pickle alcohol? <laughs> Can you have pickle beer? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do our drum kit. Oh, vinegar is made out of alcohol. Oh, okay. Dom says vinegar is bad wine. <laughs> We should have a special show where y'all just educate me on food and drink. <laughs> Mainly so that I could tell more believable stories when food or drink is involved. <laughs> you know? I, I think there's just major holes in my knowledge. Okay, we got a, our kit. It's the EXS. EXS 808. And our first beat is for Max has had beer with pickle juice in it. Mole says malt vinegar is sour beer. Ah, Midi says alcohol is diuretic. Your body loves to pass it out because it's poisoning you, right? Your body is basically saying this does not belong here. And so let's see. So Midi says, needs the body's water to flush it out because in the end your body doesn't like it. All right. And that's what dehydrates you in essence. I see. Okay. Dom says, you should have eight ounce water with every shot to balance it out. Max says, you should know, you'll notice I didn't recommend that. Okay, let's do our first beat. It's scrumptious. Scrumptious. Have I ever described something as scrumptious? I challenge y'all the next time you're eating a meal with other people, with a straight face, you have to do it without laughing. You have to, in all seriousness, describe to your, your co-eaters, your, your colleagues at the culinary uh, journeys through life or whatever, dining partners. In all seriousness, I want you to use the word scrumptious in describing, <laughs> describing one of the things you're eating. And then I want you to report back to us here in chat how your dining compadres reacted upon said statement. Bonus points if the thing that you described as scrumptious is something that no one in their right mind would ever describe as scrumptious. Not because it's bad, but it's just not the kind of thing you would say is scrumptious. And scrumptious came from Polly, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Now I want to know, Polly, have you used scrumptious in a sentence recently? And what were you describing? Scrumptious. 
It's fun to say. It just, you know, some words, they just, it's like a playground in your mouth. <laughs> you know, this is, they're fun. Some words are not so fun to say. They're just, you know, it's going to work. What are some words that are not fun to say? And I don't mean to don't think about the definition, right? It has nothing to do with what they mean, just the sound, the quality of saying them. What is just, you just say, oh man, I gotta say that word, you kidding me? I just woke up. I can't, I can't do it. I don't wanna do it. Meg says moist. But I think, Megs, if moist meant pancakes, you wouldn't mind the word, right? It'd be totally fine, you know? Because <laughs> you'd be going, everyone would be psyched, we're going to the International House of Moist. Of moist. <laughs> and you wouldn't know any better, and you would think pancakes are the most disgusting word because, oh, that thing is pancakes. <laughs> Meg says it literally feels bad in my mouth, which is funny because it's a way of describing what your mouth is, right? <laughs> is it fair to say that our mouths are moist? Okay, there's our first beat, the scrumptious beat. And then we got hippity hoppity. Hippity hoppity, also fun to say. Which part is more fun? I think hop, hoppity is more fun to say than hippity. Together they're great, but if I could only say one the rest of my life, it'd be hoppity. TF says, I had a native Italian speaker tell me that ingredients was the most beautiful sounding English word to her. Never thought of it as a pretty word. How's it going, Tieb? Hope you're having a good Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes, yeah, Thursday. <laughs> Meg says, say pancakes one more time. It's not at all traumatic for me. <laughs> Here's the thing, you know what's so awful is I've ruined pancakes now for Mex <laughs> every time. <laughs> Max, here's the word pancakes. All she's going to be able to think about is the, the word that shall not be spoken. Okay, we got our beats. Check out these sounds. First up, and this was a sound theme from Megs. We got a, a muted electric bass from Megs. Mutina turns is what if copyright was called pancakes? And then Polly gave us Jamaica fun. <laughs> Megs is not happy with me right now. <laughs> Megs is gonna be a good challenge in transcendence, you know? The world throws these obstacles in our way. The world redefines words that should not have been redefined and and we can, we can accept what the world does, and we can say, world, I don't care what you do, world, I'm gonna do it my way. And pancakes only means one thing to me, and it means goodness, pure, utter goodness. You cannot change the word pancake, world. Okay, Weird Organ from Down Blues. And we got timpani single strokes. The implication of a sound called timpani single strokes is that in our sound library we have timpani double strokes. Do we have timpani double strokes? Or maybe we have timpani rolls. Is that? Mutina Turner gave us lucid chords.
And then Moldover gave us Flange Saw. Okay. You know what might be funny is have a title inspiration where um, a title inspiration where you 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 put in your title you leave a wild card and Tubi puts in a word. So you 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 can have your whole title where you put a star or something, and then when Tubi sees that, Tubi replaces the star with a word of Tubi's choice. That could be a fun one. Max says, I swear if you do a pancake title inspiration, I'm leaving. I think you might have... I think you've probably noticed that I generally am not a fan of these spontaneous food title inspiration challenges. The chat starts. I don't think I've ever done a food inspiration. I don't think food titles are very appropriate for most of the music I make. <laughs> So you don't have to worry. There will never be a pancake. Well, I should never say never. I don't like to say never because, like, you know, life is long. I might change. Someday I might, all I might want to do is make music about food. But, but at least as of this moment in time, it's hard to see myself ever doing a food title inspiration. Y'all pick which sound starts the improv. Oh, we're going to beat the hour. After yesterday's debacle. Let's see. I did a month's worth of psychotherapy yesterday to deal with the trauma of that. <laughs> Don't go problem. I built a time machine just so I could squeeze in psychotherapy sessions before today's show. Um, let's see. Nice is for the record, we bet we could do a real emotional drag with a food name that even you connect with. Everyone, well, because sometimes I have to work really hard when, when certain title inspirations happen that I'm not, a, not excited about. <laughs> Usually spontaneous ones. And often I still manage to find some titles that, that both meet the criteria of chat's spontaneous and meet my own criteria for a title that doesn't seem horribly disconnected from the vibe of the music. So I'm sure we've got some titles with food in them, right? We, we must have some food titles. We got a, we got, we got a mango title, don't we? We must have a title with mango in it. We have four that. There are not that many words in the English language, right? We, we, let's see, mango. Oh, oh, wait, I misspelled mango. I can't, I cannot, oh, it's because my keyboard is too slow. We got two songs that have mango in it. Do we have any songs, the oranges? No oranges, how about apples? We have one song with the word apple in it. How about chicken? Do we have chicken? Man, what, what is up with my keyboard? It's so slow. We have a song with the word chicken in it. Feral chicken. How about turkey? I, I don't think we have a turkey song. We do. <laughs> no, it, is, it was a, it was, that must have, <laughs> it's a mutie title. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pun and it has food in it. Song in the turkey of life. <laughs> See, we, this is crazy. We have so many songs. Cheese, do we have cheese? No cheese title, okay, good. We have some cheesy music, but no titles with cheese in it. Okay, let's see. Let's end this poll.
and it's uh, the hippity hoppity drum loop. Max is what's one food that instantly throws you back to childhood. Childhood was a long time ago, Megs. <laughs> um, I think I like most of the same things I liked as a kid, so it doesn't feel like there's a before and after, you know? <laughs> I still I still like the same junk that I liked when I was seven. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Uh, oh, memory. Um, maybe waffles. When I when I was a when I was a kid, my my dad sometimes would make waffles. You know, be like a special occasion because he didn't really cook much. Uh, you know, we'd have wa or 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 fried dough. We'd have fried dough sometimes as a special treat, and you know, it's just a fun ritual because you get to watch it sort of go in the frying pan and all that. Okay, here we go. Time to accelerate. Every live show is what we call the venue, and the venue is basically the name of the show. It's also the name of the live album we release for each show. So if you want to help us name the venue, it's really easy to do. Just type exclamation point venue with your idea. You can get pretty literal like venue, the boat yards, or more abstract like uh, boatless in a world of water. Um, once we get a bunch of these ideas together, I pick five of them and then you guys vote and pick your favorite before each show. And then that becomes the name of the show. So it's really easy and I look forward to your creative venue ideas.
Hey, I'm the Etc. Kid, and I'm walking with the selfie stick, looking like a fool, hoping I don't trip. Also, I can tell uh, all the new folks in chat, first off, welcome. Uh, this show can seem a little complicated at first, but if you stick around, uh, you'll figure it out really fast. The easiest way to get uh, involved right away is to type exclamation point drums in chat, uh, and then I'll turn you into a rhythm on one of our upcoming songs. Uh, and there's many other things you can request. You can help name the songs we create on the show. You can help write the script of our channel's bot. Uh, we do fun community things on Discord. Uh, so there's so many ways to participate. Welcome, uh, welcome to the Etzerati. <laughs> okay, outtake. Welcome to the Etzerati. There we go. Apparently, I'm on social media. If you follow me there, you'll find highlights from the show, stripped down arrangements of old songs, poetry recitations, behind the scenes photos, portraits of Jiffy Starchild, thoughts in the creative process, and a whole lot more. Stuff like this. Hi, I'm the Etc. Kid with your Creative Minute. This is a trumpet, three valves. Each one can be up or down, but if a valve accidentally gets stuck in the middle, you will play a wrong note. The first billion times that happened, it ruined a trumpet player's day. But then one day someone's valve got stuck, and rather than panicking, they realized they could bend the sound, opening up a whole new range of expression that you'll hear all the time in jazz. Whole genres of music exist because musicians embrace something that had been wrong. For the first 20 or 30 years, guitar players were using amps. If they turned up too loud and got a distorted sound, they'd turn right back down because it sounded wrong. But then one day, one of them heard that crunch and realized it was right. And from there was born the sound of electric blues and rock. So we should never be afraid when something goes wrong because it could be a chance for us to discover something that's actually right. Thanks for watching. Please follow, share this, leave a comment. I'd love some more examples of things in music, art, literature, wherever that have gone from being wrong to right. And come hang out on my live stream weekdays, 6 to 11 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch and share your examples there in chat. Hope to see you soon. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain, we passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. The dews grew quivering and chill, for only gossamer my gown, my tippet only tool. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet, feels shorter than the day. I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity.
Tubi just won't put me back on screen. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, TF. Thanks for the cheer. Titles, we got Doug St Dicky is here with Swinging Skyscraper, Slow Jam, Billy Oshinaka with a 90s memory mold over the surge of the sea. Wow, wow, soda, a scrap amongst the worst. Polly, scuba snack, and Meg's cherry pie at sunrise. Another sound request that I love when people make. So I love getting key sounds. I love getting electric bass sounds. We used to get a lot more electric bass sounds early on in the show. We don't get them nearly as much as we used to. I love some some big fat synth sounds, but uh, I also love some some really tight electric bass sounds like this one. Hey, buddy. Why did I not see those before the song started? Does it not check events before the song? Why does it... What? Do we check events before song? Oh, I see uh, Polly has a new sound. We'll, we'll, we'll check your sound out when we get to the sound demo part. Oh, and Father Five's here. Wow, well, Soda, Buddy, Belly Oshinaka. Some other titles. Tubi with chest to bust. Dom Blue's Peter's Pancakes. Mutina Turner holding hands for Haggis. Has anyone in chat had Haggis? I have not. Mold over with the return of Horace the Cheese. And Polly with Beyond the Pale. Mo says, good haggis is great, cheap haggis is terrible. <laughs> Billy Oshnaga says, I have no real desire to try it. <laughs> Seth Charles says, Tubi knows what, how to give people in chat what they want. Have you all seen the uh, plugin that some streamers use where they have an am animated avatar? You don't ever see the streamer and they've and you and and in the and they using their cam, the avatar knows when to open its mouth so that it sort of looks like the avatar is talking and it mimics sort of body movements of the streamer as well. Should I do that? Should we do that? Give you all a break from having to look at this at this <laughs> um oh we got some say my names paul became polywog uh mutina turner became mute too and to be or not to be wants to be known as angus captain no to be 
can we have Ethan Hawke as an avatar? Oh, we got a follow from uh, Kimmy Alien. Thanks, Kimmy Alien. Thank you. Hey, Swank245, how are you? How's it going? Max, it's my luck the day you go. Avatar will be another day. I'm just out of surgery and I'll come in and be very confused. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's called, uh, uh, what's it called? Stream, stream avatar. Is it called stream avatar? Face rig is called face rig. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not being very serious, Mold. I'm not being very serious. Although it might be funny to do it once. Not with, I would never do it during, I would never do it during the music, but. <laughs> oh, stream avatars, the, oh, the, 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 right, the viewers. Yeah, it's just, it's called face rig. Face rig. I wonder, is it still a thing? Are they still? I don't know if they've really updated in a while. <laughs> wow, Dom got eight out of 10 drum fills. Face rig still a thing, Jim Maximus? There are streamers that are still using face rig, right? First time I saw a streamer use it, I, I didn't know that it was a software pro. I thought it was just a thing that streamer had created. And I was like, that is incredible. And I, I was a little less impressed when I found out it was just a software program that anyone could use. Uh, let's end this poll. <laughs> it said it trolls is I'm unsure as to whether an avatar would be an improvement on the current predicament or not. Arr. That'd be funny if chat could control what avatar I'm at any given moment. So Oh, and it's good to see your Max. It was great to see you back. It was great to see you yesterday. Love seeing you today. Your Max says people can actually create their own thing if they have the skill, their own avatar. Okay, let's um, cherry pie. It's Megs. Megs is named a cherry pie at sunrise. Okay, let's do our melody. Or let's see. You know what? I, well, you know what would be my skill for face rig, but it could be really cool is a stick figure, I could be a stick figure. That would be sort of, that'd be sort of fun. A stick figure with just a mouth, you know, a really simple mouth. <laughs> okay, this next track is gonna feature Billy Oshnaka's first drum loop, TM's first BPM. 
and TM's fifth song. Obviously, I bet. I mean, I'm sure someone's already done it. Face rig, stick figure. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Here's our featured sound. Here's our featured sound. Okay, melody, we got a melody for, that's our drums though. Uh, melody for Melod, Melod from Mute 2 in G flat. G flat Dorian, let's see our melody. those notes at some point in the next improv our drum kit on this track is going to be the trip hop remix and our first beat is for Billy Oshinaka Okay, let's see. Okay, here it is. First beat for Billy and then Tia, here's Tia. Oshinaka says that's the exact same, the exact sound that's constantly playing in my head. We got our beats. Let's check out these sounds. First up from Polywog, the solace that is soda's yogurt. That's 
from Polywalk from Doyo Shinaku, we got the Ballad Electric Bass. From Doug Sticky Whiter Shade Organ. From Chugger Zigzag Glide. From Polly Jambalaya, yes, Jambalaya. From Mewtwo, any movie would be Nito if you would cast Danny DeVito and it's a debut. pick which sound starts the improv and let's check out this new sound for Polly Now, it would be helpful to have the buttons there as well, wouldn't it? It would make sense to have a button there. Can never can have too many buttons. Oh, see, the button should be right there. Okay, let's let's do it right now. Why not, right? We got a moment. It means I'll have to make this shorter, though, but I'd rather have a button than see more text. Here's this sound, here's Polly's sound. There it is. Awesome, now I got my button. Sweet. I should put a tool, is there a tool tip there already? Is that a tooltip? Oh, there is already a tooltip. I always forget about tooltips. Song. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. So we have a we have a We have approximately an hour, and if we hit the uh, the step goal, everyone in chat will get a reward. It's a reward we've never done before. It's one of the funniest yet, maybe the funniest. Maybe funny is not the right word. Maybe the most disgusting. I'm not sure. Tubi will generate in chat. Tubi will give it, be given out food and recipes. Hey, Judy Bell. Let's see. Polly walks us. Tubi's kind of a tooltip sometimes. He, Tubi is, yeah. send this ball hey 
And it's a tie. Let's break this tie. And it's the Billy Oshinaka drum loop. Am I saying it right? Is it Billy Oshinaka or is it Billy Ocean, AKA? Or did I already ask you that? Or did I imagine I asked you that? Okay, let's do it. It is time. Time, time to accelerate. So I'm down in my basement and believe it or not, I was originally planning on doing the show down here until I realized that my roommates wouldn't have been super happy with that. Um, but it does serve as an interesting backdrop while I welcome any new folks who just came in. Uh, what you're about to hear is a live musical improvisation. I mean, I'm going to make up some music from scratch on the spot, but I'll be getting a ton of help from chat. Chat will give me the sounds to use, the speed of the music. I'll be turning people's names into drum beats and drum fills. Uh, so if you want to get involved, the easiest way to do that right away is type exclamation point drums in chat for a chance to be a drum rhythm on one of the upcoming songs we do. But as soon as this song starts, uh, if you have a creative title idea, you can suggest it with exclamation point title and the name. But that's on the beginning. There are many different ways you can participate here and share your creativity. We do fun community projects on our Discord. So I know it might seem a little overwhelming at first, but I hope you'll stick around, take a leap of faith, and you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome, and I look forward to meeting you.
Thank you.
I'll be back live in just a moment. My present day self is running around behind me doing some post song stuff. In the meantime, if this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm ETC Kid, AKA the Etc. Kid. The music you just watched was improvised from scratch, but I got a lot of help from chat. Just before the song, they chose the sounds I was using, the speed of the music. I turned people's names into drum rhythms. So there are many ways you can participate. The easiest way to get involved right away is to type exclamation point drums for a chance to be a rhythm on an upcoming song. You can also name the songs we create here, help write what our bot Tubi says, and we have fun community projects on our Discord. So we've got a lot going on. It might seem a little overwhelming at first, but if you take a leap of faith, you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome. I look forward to meeting you in chat. Things move pretty fast in ETC world, but you can keep up on everything on the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Discord. You'll find fun content like what you're about to see. Thank you. Thanks for those kelps. Let's see titles. T. Tiab, the last time traveler. Mute 2, Splinter Self, Buddy, Toneberry, Polywog, Tightrope to Shangri La. Polly, Collapsing into Shape and Billion Ocean, aka Digital Acrobatics. Driscoll Kid is here. Oh, we got a sub from Billy Ocean, aka. Thanks so much, Billy Ocean. Thanks for the sub. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Billy Ocean. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Max. Yeah. Some other titles to be with business related. Mewtwo with Hamburg Ham Gurgler. Buddy with Ham Boogie. Billy Ocean aka Accelerated Heartbeat. Polly Polarity Switch.
Oh, and another donation from Polly. Thank you so much, Polly. Man, Polly's getting us close. Getting us close to this. We're getting close to that that new reward. Never been used on the show before. Thanks, thanks so much, Polly. And and you, I think you get our, uh, you get our, you get a double. Do you, is that the second or the third double? Oh, thank you, thanks, Polly. Awesome, thank you. I didn't know that was gonna happen just then. I, <laughs> I love when things like happen. I, I, I had no idea that it was gonna do that 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 filter effect. I mean, I thought it was gonna do something, but I didn't know it was gonna do that. <laughs> it also does this weird thing where it goes out of tune sometimes. <laughs> That's. It's very, um, it's not very fashionable to take synth souls like that anymore. I mean, it hasn't really been fashionable in like, probably, I don't know, 40 years, 30 years. But it's so fun. Let's see. Midis is being fashionable isn't fashionable anymore. Yeah, I don't I don't really worry about that. As y'all can tell with my my monochromatic t-shirts and my the hat I wear every day. Let's end this bowl. Max is still better than the banana shirt. When I started playing, um, when I started playing in the, uh, when I started playing in bands and stuff in high school, synthesizers were not in fashion at all, in, in any context, let alone that kind of solo. Um, it's very much. Fender Rhodes was huge, and an organ, and piano sounds, um, but not since. But that changed in a big way. I mean, you did not hear since in indie rock, right? Is until, for the most part, I shouldn't speak that authoritatively, but. But you know, in grunge, there was not much keyboard action. <laughs> grunge and uh, and acid acid jazz was you know mostly going to be Rhodes type sounds and 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 Wurlitzers and stuff. Sometimes you'd have electric pianos, sort of synth pianos, but but very little synth sounds. 
And then that started changing again. And now synth sounds, I mean, when you talk, you know, we're talking about pop music and hip hop, synths are dominant, but not big, big weed synth solos. You don't hear that very often. Really weird game, you, you bought your first synth? Oh, that's exciting. That's really exciting. Evelos, hey Evelo, Soos here. And Polly has named it Collapsing into Shape. Collapsing into Shape. Awesome, thanks. Thank you, Polly. Thank you. Collapsing into Shape. That's a sweet title. I definitely have a thing for I, I like titles that 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 take a convention and flip it upside down. I like the collapsing into shape. Okay, this next track is gonna feature Billy Ocean, aka his first drum kit. Hey Prague Lover fan, welcome. Frog over fans is love sense and the endless ways to modulate things, yeah. Paul says, I discovered music during grunge and since were cheesy 80s to me. Great of me, but I've really come to love in the last 15 years. Yeah, we 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 probably yeah, we were around that we probably came of age around the same time. Um same thing, yeah, I just I, I associate it exactly. Um well I I did it was weird. I liked, when I was in high school, I was really into uh, jazz fusion. So there was synth in that, but but it was lead synth only for the most part. You'd have soul, you wouldn't have, it was, and it was very guitar heavy sound, a lot of that stuff, you know? Um, but I did not like 80s music. I did not like, you know, new wave and all that until much later. Yeah. Paul says, I think discovering 80s King Crimson via Primus. What's the, how did, how did you make that? How did you make the, uh, I haven't listened to 80s King Crimson. I've, I've listened to 70s, 70s King Crimson. I have, what's that? There's this one cover that's so memorable from the 70s. How, how did, did Primus, did, did they play together? How did they, how did they, how did you make that connection? Let's see, uh, Billy Oshnaka's first drum kit. I was this way, what, hated 80s music? Oh, I don't now, I love, I love, I love 80s, but at the time I was, I was really into very organic sounds from the 70s. Even much more than grunge or anything like that. I was into soul and funk and, and jazz from the 70s and it's just very raw and organic. And I hear 80s and it just felt like the soul had been sucked out of it. I don't feel that way now, but at the time, it, it took me a while to sort of, I, I realized I had to listen to 80s music in a different way. It was just a different, fundamentally different thing. I couldn't compare it. I couldn't compare it. You know, this is different. Paul says, Les Claypool is outspoken about being inspired. He covered King Crimson with Soul Projects. Oh, okay. But I mean, 80s music is 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 more influential right now, I'd say, than than 70s, uh, and it's probably more influential than 90s even at the moment. In the sort of, I mean, obviously there's bands being inspired by everything, but but if you if the zeitgeist, the current zeitgeist, definitely 80s have have a big a big impact. It's also Billy Ocean, AKA's fifth song, Jer Max was his 250th request, and Dom Blue's 600th mode.
Muty discovered free birth through this channel. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh yeah, this is a Kappa, yeah. Let's see. Let's zero out. I think my favorite sort of modern take on 80s, on the 80s sort of pop music is probably um, St. Lucia. Has anyone seen St. Lucia or know St. Lucia? Is their first, their first album is just, I love their first album. I, th I think is their second one. It's really the first one that just, just for me was so, so fun. And I've, I've seen them perform a couple times, and they're a really fun live show, too. St. Lucia. Uh, let's see. Let's do our... Do you have you you know Saint Lucia? Okay, let's do our melody. Melody is for September. Let's see. Um well, and then, of course, I mean, how can I forget? Uh, I mean, M83 is, they're pretty, they're, M83 is amazing, too, and that that's very, that's definitely got some heavy 80s influence. Um, uh, let's see, let's do... Do our melody. We're in uh, mixolydian. This is for Megs. Generate our melody. You use those notes at some point in the next improv. Sim and our kit is the symbolic Yellowhammer Juggernaut, requested by uh, Billy Ocean, aka. Looks like it hasn't loaded yet, though. This this kid always takes a little while. I think these our sounds are gonna load so much better on the new computer. Cause it's gonna it, all the sounds are gonna be on an SSD. Right now, only some of our sounds are in it. See that delay? To ter so terrifying when it comes in. So if, if anything, even you know, Tubi may not be any better, but if anything, uh, for me, audio-wise, things are going to be better. Okay, let's do our first beat. Our first beat is for uh, for Polly. And let's see what it is. Here it is, raw. Okay, let's pull all these snares back, except we'll keep these too loud, and uh, let's put a kick there. That's our first beat. Thanks, Polly. And then your Maximus. Here 
good as raw. Kick on one. There it is. We got our beats. Let's check out our sounds. The Motown bass from Polly. Oh, nice. You're giving me electric basses today. And then Don Blues with Grunge Wobble bass. And then GD Bill plucking the bass away. Muty 2 with Space Bells. Oh no, soda. <laughs> Drink lots of water, soda, okay? We were talking about this earlier. Apparently the body does not like alcohol. So drink lots of water. Polly with B-I-R-B, burb, which is actually a soda sound. Look at that, soda sound, burb. Because as some of you may or may not know, there's no such thing as burbs. It's a conspiracy. Are you home now? Good, good soda. And Polywog with Steampunk Factory. Okay, y'all okay, pick which sound. I'll pick which sound we start with. We've got, looks like we got, we got 10 minutes left. Ten minutes left. Polly is taking us most of the way there. If we hit this goal before that counter expires, we will have the first ever food slash recipe reward generated by Tubi. For everyone in chat who runs the reward command. Let's see, okay, let's fade in. Polly unlocked a new friend, Brian Plungner III, a sentient baby elephant, who was the mayor of a wondrous place called Noodletown, where they dine on macaroni every day and live in a house constructed entirely from soba noodles. Polly gifted a friend to soda, Alabaster Steel, a closely shaved sea anemone who once made meticulous and inventive plans to escape to Alcatraz. Swank just unlocked a wrestler. Bob the snarky starfish angel. After falling out with their former tag team partner Masked Danny 7331, they've now gone solo and from a van by the river, their specialty is dank tiddlywinks. Watch out for their horrifying signature move, the slightly saucy pug on a unicycle.
Okay, let's let's send this Paul. And it's Steampunk Factory. Steampunk Factory. Okay. Here we go. It is... Oh, Polly gifted a friend to Muty. A friend badly. His new colleague, Ut Mutants, Mold Moral. He has a hot tub outside Tartru Mo. Three tablespoons of tofu and tofu. And he loves to eat it at Starbucks and Mucha Frappuccino. <laughs> what? 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 Is there some crazy cool sounds in the database? Oh, awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. It's time. Time to it. Oh, a donation from Solo. Thanks, Solo. Awesome. Thank you, Solo. Let me W up. I think that's the, the final double. Yeah, we are almost. To, look at that. Six minutes to go. Very close. Almost there. Okay, here we go. Time, time to accelerate. You might have noticed that our bot, to be or not, to bot, aka Tubi, is quite an active part of our channel. And that's because y'all can help write what it says. We call it bot talk, and there's a lot of different things you can do with it. An easy way to get started is with exclamation point bot space random. And using that command, you can submit a random thing for Tubi to say at some point during a future show. If you want to dig deeper into Bot Talk, there's variables, option sets, multi part messages, and more. It's just another way you can share your creativity with our community. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't read, uh, I didn't see uh, Sowo's message. So, all right. Let's get cooking, y'all. <laughs> thanks, thanks again, Solo.
Hi, if this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm the Etc. Kid. What you just heard was improvised entirely from scratch, meaning I was making it up as I went along, but I got a ton of help from Chat. Chat shows all the sounds I was using, the speed of the music, the drum rhythms were generated from people's usernames. So if you want to get involved, the easiest way to do that right away is type exclamation point drums in chat for a chance to be a drum rhythm on an upcoming song. But that's only the beginning. There's many different ways to participate and share your creativity. You can help name all the songs we created on the show. You can help write the script of our channel's bot. We have fun community projects on our Discord. So it might seem a little overwhelming at first. We got a lot going on, but if you stick around, you have it all figured out super fast. So welcome, welcome to the Etcetarati. So it took me a while, but I've finally jumped on the social media bandwagon. You'll find me on some new up and coming platforms like Friendster and MySpace. I just created a new Vine account. I post highlights from the show on there, old songs, poetry recitations, behind the scene photos, content like this. Okay, this is my uncover of the song. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's from 1912. It's a long way to Tipperary It's a long way to go It's a long way to Tipperary To the sweetest girl I know Goodbye to Piccadilly Goodbye to Leicester Square it's a long way to Tipperary, but my heart is always there.
Thanks for those cows. We had titles. Dom Blues holding line. Swank 245 that morning. Solo, I see your soul and raise you mine. Evelo Chain Gang. Mute 2, wiggle your asteroid. And Polly, leave a message at the beep. Oh, we, did. we made it. They made it just in time. We had donation from, from Polly. Thank you, Polly. And then from Evelo says a donation from Evelo also even better than Cookie for Dummies, Cookie with Tubi. Thanks, thanks, Polly. Thanks, Evelo. Thank you. After we finish this, we'll do the reward. So don't run the command yet. I haven't I haven't set up, but after we finish the poll, I'll do the our first ever food and recipes. Let's see. Oh, and Polly well, I gifted a wrestler badly to Sowo. Chat. <laughs> what? Chat ruins one of the friends of a new social group. Oh, so am Oz. Hedgehog heard Solemn Master Slapdash weighs 322. He spent 57 years learning more abilities. Buy it better and take care of your life as soon as you see its shape. He <laughs> says hydrate just in case things get wild. Oh, we had a, 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 is it Tilly, Tilly, Tilly what? 0622, welcome. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. C Pugsum's here. Hey, C Pugsum, brother nasty. Oh, no worries, C Pugs. Your life in real life is always the most important thing. I hope whatever it is gets resolved and is all good. It sounded like I started practicing there for a moment. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm determined to get this line. That's what it sounded like. I don't know if I actually, what I was thinking at the moment, but. Um, oh, Megs is back just in time. Megs, we just, we just made the, uh, the just made the cutoff for uh, the, the food reward. I'm about to turn it on in just a second. Some other titles. Wow, well, so it's been a long day. Polywog brainwashing the neighbors. Billy Ocean, AKA Whiskey on Mars. Soho, Soho Master. Evelo, what's on the menu? Dom Blue says chicken burrito slide. And Buddy says, what's well, Chili Verde Blues? Mew, Mewtwo says, Nana Moose cure, Curry. Oh, Buggington's as well. So we'll do, we'll do Buggington uh, before the next song. I'll make a reminder. Mags says, yes, let me live through these recipes. Recipes, although I forget some dang pancakes, I'm out. Solo became Solo Master. To be a better work with this. I definitely tested it, but there's always some little thing I forget, you know, some little switch that's different because it's the live show, you know? Follow if they're a friend to see bugs him. Tom Tarrington, a less and less green merman, wearing a fuzzy blue onesie. Hey, if he five pies here. I mean, he starts banging. Chat, chat, 
Y'all gotta be working on drum fills. Dom, Dom has nine drum fills on this next track. That's because y'all haven't made enough drum fill requests. It's in this poll. There we go. Thanks, Lonster. Drum fill from Lonster. Magzo, Meg submitted one. Yeah, thanks everyone for submitting. And it's it's Polly. Polly is named to leave a message. Leave a message at the beep. Thank you, Polly. Thanks everyone for your titles. That was leave a message at the beep. Okay, theoretically, okay, <laughs> I think we don't need any more from, we don't need any more from, from Dom or Megs. I think we have enough from you. <laughs> you can run the reward command in theory. Let's be, keep our fingers crossed that this works, that I didn't do some stupid mistake. <laughs> Meg says you're not my mom. Fingers crossed. Come on, Tubi. Where are they? Where's the first one? Come on. Tell me it's working. Where are they? Come on, Tubi. Don't, don't make me wait. Don't make me think this is not working. We're gonna make it happen no matter what, okay? <laughs> Max is always looks like my current diet, crushing disappointment and confusion. Maybe Tubi's busy doing something else. Give it give Tubi a moment. Come on, Tubi, what are you doing? Are, is Tui doing new things or are these old things that Tui got behind on? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Finally, Tui was just catching up. Okay, we got Dom. Dom, you rewarded some oatmeal made by my third cousin twice removed dynamite toe jam. It's the addition of some bow tie with precisely a square of green beans that really gives it its wisely crunchy flavor. <laughs> Giacomo got my grandmother's noxious recipe for goat meal. <laughs> Take close to 3.974 kilograms of <laughs> times. <laughs> And then <laughs> inhale 914 car tires of ortho. <laughs> Next measure negative nine light years of lima beans. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, I can't get through it. Finally put it in your wheelbarrow. <laughs> With <laughs> with the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> ingredients and body slamming until it's game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm not even through two of them. I'm in trouble. Megs, your award is a recipe for humble pie. Take seven sides of shallots <laughs> and desecrate. <laughs> desecrate a batch of beets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Next stir about a single atom of dark matter. Finally regurgitate it all together with the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> eat, it, eat it along with sweet and sour red snapper and happiness pasta surprise. <laughs> Paul, your award is 
Are you trying to eat healthier? Might I recommend <laughs> this vomit-inducing recipe for a sandwich? Take a batch of peaches and then climb five nips of peppers. Next, lubricate a square of yucca cassava. Finally, fry it all together. The pounds will explode right off you. Judy Bill got your boss's, my boss's okay recipe for sloppy joes. Take upwards of 930 protons of balsamic vinegar and then puree. <laughs> I think the thing I find funniest are the amounts. 86 quarts of, <laughs> of plantain. Next, cotto about 3.264 crumbs of coconuts. Finally, put it in your mixing bowl with the rest of the ingredients and throw it out. Throw out it until it's tart. <laughs> okay, I gotta break for a second. Okay. Muti, your award is a recipe for greasy dorm nachos. Take a splash of Belgian endives and then sit a ravine of horned melon. Next, haul 87 beard seconds of pomegranate. Finally, put it in your frying pan with the rest of the ingredients and julienne it until it is astringent. Pie, your award is, hey, if you're allergic to olive oil, try substituting for... <laughs> try substituting perspiration instead in this mouthful recipe for a healthier take on olive oil and salsa gumbo surprise. You'll never guess the secret ingredient. <laughs> You don't need to clothesline me. Okay, I'll tell you. It's 40, <laughs> 40 grams of dank. No. Geldy Kugel got a copy of Chef Shorten Stevenson's new cookbook, Acidic Applesauce Cooking. Turn to page 163 for a seasoned recipe for applesauce heavenly sour cream gumbo. Really weird gaming, your award is, is your fridge empty except for around a splash of custard, precisely a, a diaper full of watercress, 87,000 87, chunks, chunks of Monterey Jack. I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. I hope I'm not the crazy guy who's laughing and everyone's just saying, why is he laughing? Don't worry, forbid them all in your pan and you will mix them into something absolutely bitter. Oh, I gotta take a drink of water. I'm sweating too, I think. Let me turn on the fan. So, oh, your award is, are you trying to eat healthier? Might I recommend this hot recipe for mature onions pizza surprise? Take around a hugeness of dried plums and then aerate 37 gobs of rotten apples. Next, berate about negative four slices of red cabbage. Now, how do you do that? I have no idea. Finally, flam flambe, flambe it all together. The pounds will lasso right off you. Brother Nasty has a copy of Chef Suntial's Rancid's new cookbook, Budget Pinto <laughs> Cooking. I think I own that book. <laughs> Flip to page 174 for a sharp recipe for pinto beans, popcorn, and jumbo shrimp shell stir-fry special. That actually sounds like it could be okay. That's like the, the, the most realistic one so far. Pinto beans, popcorn, and jumbo shrimp shell. Well, except for the shells part. I, I might eat that one. Swank245, your reward is a seven-course meal at the Hypnotic Dom Eatery. The appetizer we struck bully, the waiter, Bo Shomandale, explained that in order to make it, you have to curdle a batch of broccoli and then blow, blow it up with the rest of the ingredients to ensure it turns out right. Oh. Dude, I didn't miss anyone's, did I? I hope I didn't miss anyone's. Oh. 
Oh, there's more. Evo, your reward is, hey, if you're allergic to peanut oil, try substituting evaporated milk instead in this ripe recipe for fake peanut oil and pasta sauce and chicken breast hamburger surprise. You'll never guess the secret ingredient. Ho, 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 you don't need to find me. Okay, okay I'll tell you, it's five. <laughs> Five hundred and eight Jupiter-sized bags of everlasting gobstopper. Polly, and it's, it's Polly with three donations to help us get to this goal. Polly, your reward is my friend's fragrant recipe for savory human hair stir fry. Take a pile about yay high of kidney beans and then bork five pints of purple. Far five pints of purple. Next great, precisely five shopping carts of cucumbers. <laughs> Precision and shopping carts, two words I did not expect to ever see together. Finally, discourage it all together with the rest of the ingredients. The flavor profile is similar to cyan couscous and soul gumbo. Surprise. Okay, is that it? <laughs> oh, I want one. I want one, and Tubi's gonna get one after, after this. My reward is my uncle's recipe for green beans and fettuccine pasta. Oh, that sounds good. Take precisely 95,288 shots of cactus pears and then submerge not quite 370.6453 teaspoons of mushrooms. Next, zest nine angstroms of collard greens. Finally, play it all together with the rest of the ingredients. The flavor profile is similar to ramen noodles. <laughs> That's a lot of work for ramen noodles. Tubi, your award is a recipe for Dombro Cottage Cheese <laughs> oh, That sounds awful. Oh, take close to a big bag. No, bigger than that. No, no, bigger than that. Yeah, a giant bag of breadsticks and then double dip. <laughs> four dashes, four dashes of chili. Next mode exactly a factory of cantaloupes. <laughs> Finally skim it all together with the rest of the ingredients. Eat it along with cheddar cheese. <laughs> Max is holy dine. I mean, I did not expect it to be this good. Was it was mute, Muti? You you had it was your idea, right, Muti, to do this? Heart hearts here, just in time. Four. Are you trying to improve your nutrition? Might I recommend this tasteless recipe for chicken tendies? What are chicky tendies? Chicky tendies? Are those like miniature chicken tenders? What are chicky tenders? Take close to six millimeters of blueberries. <laughs> That's not a lot of blueberries. And then of squash joint, a single atom of strawberry. Next, drywall. 37,000 pounds of salmon. Finally debone it all together. The pounds will chew right off you. <laughs> the, the pounds are like, this is so disgusting. We're going to eat our way out of your body. We're going to eat our way out of your body so you can never feed us this horror ever again. He says, we, all, we did it together. I alley ooped the idea of getting bad. The recipes you turned into this monster. <laughs> but he says, a diaper filled with watercress on bed. Oh, boy. <sighs> okay, we're going we're gonna to leave it on for about five more minutes. <laughs> oh, this is painfully funny. My head hurts from laughing. <laughs> I think it's I, I um I'm I'm getting a, I'm sort of learning to how to make these um these work better and better. How to make rewards more sophisticated, more complex. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's Cetatrol got a reward. It's Cetatrol got, I hope it's appropriate for it's Cetatrol's fine, uh, fine, delicate uh, taste buds. It is a five course meal at the Vancouver Grocery. <laughs> the appetizer will be puppet curry. <laughs> What's puppet curry? <laughs> Um, the waiter, Ernest Plungner, explained that in order to make it, you have to tenderize precisely 747, seven, sorry, excuse me, 741 nanoseconds of tomatillos and then undress it with the rest of the ingredients to ensure it tastes like it's meant to. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. So we're going to leave it on for about five more minutes in case anyone else shows up who wants one. Our next track, and remember, y'all you, can uh, submit elements. Uh, the elements that go into this are, uh, well, there's a bunch of them. I, I'm hoping to have everything super well documented within the next couple of weeks to make it easier for people to submit little, little elements. And Z, so it's the ingredient. Um, Z ingredient, Z underscore ingredient are individual elements. Z food, Z underscore food are, are sort of completed dishes. Um, Z underscore verb cooking is a, a verb to use for cooking. Do it in the infinitive. Uh, what else is there? Of uh, Z underscore adjective food is an adjective to describe the food. I can't remember this. And then there's lots of, I, I also incorporate elements from other parts of Bot Talk that people have submitted. Oh, we got some more. Oh no. Amita says, you shouldn't code these while alone. These are like dangerous to laugh at by yourself. I know, I felt, I felt like the equivalent of an alcoholic when I was working on it. When, what did I make it? It was on Tuesday, I think, or Monday. Iros, your reward is some watery, sparkling water stir fry surprise made by my coworker. Now, this is Tubi's coworker, not mine. I, I don't know whose it is. Uh, I, originally, I designed it so it was going to say your something, you know? And then I thought that might be a little awkward if someone. <laughs> If someone, if this is like your girlfriend and someone's like, oh, my girlfriend, she just left me or something. It would, so I changed it to my, meaning Tubi's. Your award, okay, made by my coworker. Uh, where is it? My coworker, it jumped down. My coworker, Mac, Mac Mezidas, Stuptus. Okay, that name's impossible. Mac, Me, Mac Meza, Mac, Mac me zadst, stoop the space. <laughs> I really want to meet stoop the stoop the space. It's the addition of some snow with negative 93 heaping spoonfuls of English muffins that really gives it its recklessly vegan flavor. <laughs> recklessly vegan. Oh, that needs to be a blog. That needs to be an Instagram account. Recklessly vegan. It would be so popular. You know, recklessly vegan? Oh. If I were vegan, I would do it, but I'm not vegan. Buddy, your reward is a rare copy of Chef Dave the Sledgehammer's new cookbook, Budget <laughs> Canola Oil Cooking. A cookbook that's based around oil. Turn to page 170 for an exploded recipe for canola oil. Magic sandwich. T Taladar, your reward is, did a bully kick sand in your face on the beach? Might I recommend this tantalizing recipe for nutty turkey broth, bouillon, and red and white wine gumbo. That sounds sort of good, actually. Take a splash of waxed beans and then gig a hugeness of peanut butter. Next, accelerate about a path full of flounder. Finally, drain it all together. You'll be ripped in no time. <laughs> Set it all says, I'm not sure Kit should be questioning my delicate taste considering how long I've managed to endure this channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Evo, you should have been able to run. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Mac Mesa Depth, is that it? Oh man. Whew. Swing's 25th request. Swing's 25th request coming up. Oh, first the elf. How are you? Uh. Oh, hey, Rick and Nick. How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, Brick and, Brick and Nick is is a amazing uh, amazing streamer. Does Lego, um, amazing Lego designer. What Brick and Nick? What are you making right now? What what's your current Lego project? You have several. Are you doing several projects? But Chad, yeah, go follow. Can we get a shout out? Can I give a shout out from here? Awesome. Thanks, Dom. Rick Nick says, I just came back streaming uh, yesterday after spending the last little while at my studio. No major projects in progress at the moment. Decide on the next one. Yeah, Rick and Nick, if you run the um, if you run the reward command, our bot will generate some food or recipe for you. Uh, they are, and if there's anyone new who hasn't run the reward command yet today, this is a new new thing I just added, a new uh, reward. I'm worn out. I've been laughing so hard at these. Oh and yeah, first yeah, for it too, yeah. Oh and a follow from Brick and Nick. Thanks, Brick and Nick. Okay, Brick and Nick. Your award is my father-in-law's sun-dried recipe for gyrating vinegar casserole special. Take around 92,000 foot, foot feet of asparagus and then irradiate roughly a bathful of beeps. Next, menace a pile about yay high of pumpkin. Finally put it in your glass jar with the rest of the ingredients and whisk it until it is gelatinous. Oh, that does not sound good. Gyrating vinegar casserole special. Ferziaf, your reward is a meal at Kid Strength Restaurant. The main course will be hot dog. <laughs> Chef Jackie Dombro explained that in order to make it, you have to burn 401 milliliters of blackberries and then marinate with the rest of the ingredients to ensure it meets the health inspector standards. Oh, breaking Nick AIDS vinegar. I, you know, I was talking about, I'm not a fan of vinegar either. So yeah, these are these are generated dynamically by the bot using all these different elements that Chad has suggested. So they're sort of like uh, they're a bit like Mad Libs, but if Mad Libs are way more com complicated. Okay. But we're slowly adding to our reward pool. We've got, what do we have? We have art. Tubi will generate art, pieces of art. Well, not visually, but just describe them. Uh, houses, vehicles, books with plots. And I think that's everything, right? Did I get them all? What should we do next, Jao? What should be the next next reward we add to our... Well, y'all have made a bunch of other suggestions, so 
I know we probably we got plenty of, but if you have any new ideas, use the suggest command. Find melody. Okay, let's um <clears throat> Let's do our melody. We're an F Mixolydian. And you know, because the rewards took a long time, we're actually, I'm gonna delay Buggington until after, after this song. I don't, I don't wanna have too much time in between songs. So we'll, we'll do Buggington after. those notes from Swank at some point in the next improv, our drum kit. Our drum kit is the Classic House Remix. And our first beat is Hey, Velvet VHS and Phil A's here. Oh, and Phil A just got a reward. <clears throat> Phil A, your reward is, are you trying to improve your nutrition? Might I recommend this spicy recipe for penne gumbo? Take a roughly, <laughs> I love that it says roughly, and that it's a number that is accurate to four decimal places in milligrams. Take roughly... 126.6596 milligrams of raspberries and then temper a tree fitty of skepticism. Next, infuse around a splash of bamboo shoots. Finally, flatten it all together. The pounds will exercise right off you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh, Heist Cruise, that's a good one. Paul, that's a great one. Heist Cruise? Oh, that could be really funny. Heist Cruise, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um, and speaking of Paul, Paul's our drum loop. Here it is. I have a runny nose now. Is that is that a thing that happens when you laugh too much? Or <laughs> you develop a cold or something? What is up with that? Does anyone know? Is that a thing? I mean, I guess it. I remember, you know, when when people have a really good cry, their their nose starts watering, right? So again, laughing and crying are very, very similar. Physiologically, at least. Hey, guys, who always, hey, two, three, nine, says this is good education. That's our first beat. And then, um, Dom, here's Dom. Yeah, and welcome, Akazu. And if you just showed up, you can still run the reward command. I'm going to turn it off in about a minute or two. Yeah, just type exclamation point reward. And Tubi will generate some food or a recipe for you. And then I'm going to turn it off. It's probably, 
Okay, Akaisu 8329, your reward is Booyah! It looks like a single atom of inspiration is virtually free for $80,000. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, the thing is, if you're someone like, um, uh, I don't know, Jeff Bezos, $80,000 is virtually free for you. You know, I mean, it's, anyway, it looks like a single atom of inspiration is virtually free for 80,000 at Door Supermarket. You can use it to make bland, inedible raisins and ground turkey breast casserole. Just boil it with precisely ne negative 76,000 kilograms of milk and 77 inches of Swiss cheese. That's a lot of Swiss cheese. That's a lot of milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. A single atom of inspiration is virtually free for eighty thousand dollars. Uh, guys, this is some clue. So what these are, Kaizu is our bot generates these uh so that didn't exist until just when you if you would not run the ward command just then, that would never have existed. What just happened? Um It's just a silly thing. Our our bot uh generates uh it generates things they're like it's a little bit like a mad lib but not okay we got our beats check out these sounds a sound with no name Uh, that's sound with no name from Polly from GD Bill. We got a hollow left foot. Tubi is behaving better. Yes. Thanks, Phil. Hey, thanks for asking. Uh, Polly with muted electric guitar. Uh, dancing through golden Dom blues. Wow, wow, soda, deep space. And buddy, WTF? So I'm gonna I'm gonna give the reward. Uh, I'm gonna give it until the end of this sound poll, and then I'm turning it off. According to Tubi, there are 26 people watching who are lurking who have not yet written a message today. That means 26 people could run the reward command theoretically. 26 people could run the reward command. And then when I turn it off, it might be it might be a week, it might be a month before we ever do recipes again. We might never do recipes. This might be the one time we ever do it. So you might this might be your only chance. Right now, all you have to do is type uh was it seven characters? Is that right? Am I doing that correctly in my head? Seven characters, yes. Okay, this is the drums also computer generated. Uh, they're generated using um, people's usernames. So people give text, and then uh, and then my program it takes the text and it turns it into drums. Yeah. Technically, to technically speaking, what I do is not. There's no artificial intelligence involved. <laughs> my coding skills do not make it to artificial intelligence level. Oh, Boba Phil says, don't forget, enter. That's right, so it's, it's eight. Oh, and I recently, um, I have a, I have a, there's a thing called Z, Z name last first, or no, Z name first last, which I use as a shortcut to generate full length names. And up until this point, it's only been using names that Chad has suggested and then putting them together. 
but I added the baby name algorithm into it. And so we're now getting names like Manipk Ugfitsifadam. <laughs> so we're gonna see more of those. Manipk Ugfitsifadam. Manipk. What was that one name? Does anyone remember that name that, that just flummoxed me during the uh, the rewards? Absolutely flummoxed me. I could not say it. We still we have we now have it set. Tubi says we have 27 people who are lurking, who have not yet written a message. 27 people who could run the reward command. This could be your last chance ever to get Tubi to generate a recipe for you. Send this poll. And it's muted electric guitar. Oh, Polly named their sound gyrating vinegar. Oh, we have Jiffy High too. Well, we'll do we'll do Jiffy High oh, when we do Buggington. Boba Phil with a donation. Thanks so much, Boba Phil. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Paul says, my friend used a neural network to make hockey player names. They all sound like fantasy Vikings. Oh, and Jibba Jabba's here. Hey, Jibba Jabba. Okay, I'm about to turn off the reward. It means you have approximately, you have approximately four, se five seconds to type reward in chat. Last chance. Okay, oops. We have returned our award to love. Okay, here we go. Time, time to its, time to its iterate. Hey there, I'm the Etc. Kid, and this is Jiffy Starchild. And we are at the Point Isabel Dog Park, which is pretty much Jiffy's favorite place in the world. Uh, I want to take this opportunity while my future self is getting ready to welcome any new folks who are in chat. Uh, if this is your first time watching the show, it might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it's actually really simple uh, once you figure things out. The easiest way to get started is to type exclamation point drums in chat. Uh, to have yourself turned into a rhythm in one of our upcoming songs. Uh, but there's so many different things you can request. You get to help name the songs here. You get to help write the script of our channel's bot. We do all sorts of uh, community things in Discord. Uh, so yeah, please stick around and welcome to the Etcetarati.
Hi, if you came in during the music and this is your first time watching, welcome, I'm the Acetera Kid. What you just heard was improvised music, meaning I was making it up from scratch as I went along. But I got a ton of help from chat. Chat chose the sounds I was using, the speed of the music, uh, the drum beats and drum fills were generated from people's usernames. So if you want to get involved, the easiest way to do that right away is type exclamation point drums in chat for a chance to be a drum fill or a drum loop in one of the upcoming songs we do. But that's only the beginning. There are many different musical things you can request, but you don't need any musical experience to participate. There are many ways to share your creativity. Uh, you can help name all the songs we do on the show. You can help write the script of our channel's bot. Uh, we do fun community projects on Discord. So it might seem a little overwhelming, I know, but if you stick around, take a leap of faith, you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome again, and I look forward to meeting you in chat. Our channel is a fiscally sponsored project of the nonprofit art services organization, Fractured Atlas. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't mean they're just giving us money. Uh, but what it does mean is that since they are a 5013C, you can actually support our channel and it be tax deductible. Uh, if you're in the United States as an individual or a business, if you know how to deduct charitable contributions off your taxes, you can do the same and support us at the same time. Uh, just go to the link in our support panel to Fractured Atlas, make your donation there. You must make your donation through Fractured Atlas for it to be tax deductible. So let me know if you have any questions. This is a fantastic way to support what we're doing here. I'm not only on the Twitch, I'm also on the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Discord. Follow me there for more content like this. The Fool Song by William Carlos Williams. I tried to put a bird in a cage, oh fool that I am, for the bird was truth. Sing merrily truth, I tried to put truth in a cage. And when I had the bird in the cage, oh fool that I am, why it broke my pretty cage. Sing merrily truth, I tried to put truth in a cage. And when the bird was flown from the cage, oh fool that I am, why I had nor bird nor cage. Sing merrily truth, I tried to put truth in a cage. I ho, truth in a cage. Thank you for those kelps. Thank you. Titles. We had uh, Boba Phil, Strangers in the Dark, Duel, Moonlit Blues, Polywa, Growing Gnomes in My Roof, Polly, Treading on Footsteps, Hug Queen LD, Boom Boom, and Doug Sticky, Glint Eastwood. And Hug Queen LD gifted a band badly to Evelo. Pug Tongue is funny. Is that right? They give themselves a name, expert of the Dunedin group. See the new Sorry Sorry Brain. And then hug Queen LD, gifted a friend badly to uh, Polly. Meet a new friend, Sly, at Polychromatic Naval Fluff Meme, in some tight blue pants. Oh, Fighter Pilot Chrome Ignite is here. Duel is here. Cursing me too. How's it going? Oh, and um, we, we're doing, since we didn't do it, I don't know if anyone's done it yet. Did anyone do it? Nobody's done it. It's not too late, though. We were going to do a, 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 a moody, moody Thursday with scuba as the theme. Scuba as the theme. Scuba diving. Find an image of, of folks scuba diving. Oh, that's an idea. I should do that. It'd be so cool. It'd be, it'd be really nice to have a way to connect your Discord with 
Twitch. Anyway, yeah, Moody Thursday, it's Moody Thursday. So we didn't do a Moody Tuesday. So find an image of scuba diving, the best, best approximates your current frame of mind, your current mood or frame of mind. Paste the image into our Discord main chat and include the word, the hashtag Moody Thursday so people know why you just put it there. Some other titles, uh, why is it showing me these again? Showing me the same titles again. That's weird. I thought Jiffy was coughing, but it was actually the open hi-hat. Hey, Polly Synth Fusion. How are you? Thanks for the follow. Polly, I, I'm not sure if we're going to do another song tonight, but if we don't, um, I hope you'll come back as you can request synth sounds. We have several, probably, well, several thousand synth sounds probably at this point. And I improvise music using requests that people make, sounds and chat chooses the speed of the music. I turn people's names into drum loops the power of the songs so it's super interactive it's in this poll and it's Doug is named it Galint Eastwood Galint Galint Eastwood All the big girls here. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, everyone, for your titles. That was Glint Eastwood. Okay, we got we got two things we're gonna do. We're gonna do. We got Jiffy. Jiffy's gonna say hi. Jiffy Starchild's gonna say hi, and then I'm gonna read. Um, a chapter from Buggington. And I'll explain what that is in just a moment. Well, Buggington is a novel that our community is writing. It's our second novel. Our second. Wait, where is, oh, there it is. Man, timpani should be in all sorts of music. I love swing and timpani. Swing and timpani. Where's Jiffy? Hey, Jiffy. Say hi to chat. How you doing? Here's Jiffy Starchild. Say hi to chat. Yeah? And we'll look at camera two. Look at camera two. There's camera two. Hi! Jiffy is, uh, Jiffy's quite old. Jiffy's 16 and a quarter. Good boy. OK, 
Gary Sinise is still getting stuck in his carrier sometimes. <laughs> Not quite the athlete, are we, anymore? Okay, so I'm going to read um, a chapter from Bugging to Billions. Bugging to Billions, like I said, it's the second novel our community has been working on. I can take this off. Um, I finally got a legitimate strap for, for camera three. I've been using this hack together Velcro thing that had tape on it. Finally something legit after three years. <laughs> I might cut it though. I might, well, I, can I make it smaller? Yeah, maybe I should, maybe I'll cut it. Well, but I can't cut that part. Just wish it was a little smaller. So uh, this is a, 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 I call it improvisational novel because the way it works is our community is writing on Discord and you can only write about a sentence or two before you have to wait for someone else to write a sentence or two. So you can't plan too far ahead. You have to be uh, able to sort of um, adapt and be flexible, which is what improv is all about. Improv is all about uh, finding yourself in an unfamiliar place. Um, and rather than that being a scary thing, that being an opportunity to do something you didn't plan on and discover something you never would have discovered otherwise. Okay, let's fade out this music. Uh, missing color 101. Oh no, why did that happen? Why did that happen? Someone changed Tubi's color? Why did why did why did that have we did a bug there? I, I recently changed how I handle uh, certain kinds of variables and that's the first bug we've had from it that I know about. Why aren't more barns? Why aren't more barns? No, that should have worked. Um, why wouldn't that have worked? Why wouldn't that have worked? Okay, I, I shouldn't try to fix this right now. Okay, let's read this. This is chapter 21, The Four Shadows. Oh, and if you wanna help, if you wanna help write, um, it's on our Discord, it's called Buggington Billions. There's a, some ground rules, there's only a few rules. Make sure to read those before you start writing, but you don't have to read the whole thing. Um, you can just sort of jump in and contribute. Okay, here we go. Chapter 21. The Four Shadows. Where did those four shadows come from? Asked Doug as four shadows emerged from the corner. The break room, if I had to guess, suggested Anna, waving to the four dark beans. Hey guys, back to the grind. The shadows convulsed. In, a, in silent laughter and spoke to Anna in a language Doug didn't understand, which sounded like hundreds of inaudible whispers all at once. Ha ah, ha, yeah, I feel that, Anna responded nonchalantly. Um, hi? Doug waved up to the creatures, who all seemed to ignore him. They're not ignoring you, Anna said. They just don't see or hear creatures they've never met before. What? Doug asked, but then how do they... Let's get that food, Anna said, ignoring his question. Right, which wormhole is a barbecue place? I could really go for a steak, asked Doug. 
Doug Anna said, this is a base spanning several light years. There are literally thousands of barbecue places. All right, all right. Any close to us? He asked. Anna checked a map. No. I can become a barbecue. Briquettes or gas, piped up the mimic. Yeah, I, I appreciate the offer, but I've got pretty strict rules about not eating food that was cooked inside a living thing. Sorry, Doug murmured sheepishly. Wait, what? Anna looked down, recognizing the voice of the mimic. You are still here? Suddenly, Anna's messenger bag sprouted a tiny arm and waved at her. Hey, chief. Gah! Anna jumped and dropped the bag on the ground. Okay, first of all, ow, croaked the mimic, sprouting two tiny legs to push itself to a standing position. A face formed on the side of the bag, looking up at Doug and Anna. Secondly, I'm real thankful to you for keeping me safe from those to be or not a bots. I know neither of you asked for this. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in it. That's all right, Anna sighed. We're all in this together now, Huggy. I mean, Dougie. I mean, Buggy. I mean, uh, what was your name again? It's Doug, Anna. Are you feeling okay? Anna laughed softly and patted his shoulder. Oh, no, not you, sweetie. What was your name? She asked, looking at the mimic directly. No, replied the mimic bluntly. Oh, wait. Oh, me? My name is Arboretum Q. Fizzburger, the fourth. Can we call you Arby, Doug asked? No, replied the mimic bluntly. Fizzy it is, which reminds me I'm thirsty, exclaimed Anna. So am I, Fizzy replied. What's a wanted criminal who's running from the law and the robot police force of an entire sector of planets got to do to get something to eat around here? Well, there is this place I've never been to, but I've heard a lot about, Anna muses. I think it's called the Debut Buffet, or the Debut Buffet. They have literally everything, but only if you've never had it before. Oh, Doug thinks about all the food he's never had before. Let's go. There it is. Chapter 22. Chapter 22 is Order Up. Order Up. We are now, I'm now caught up to, uh, where is it? To September 7th. September 7th. We're starting to catch up. September 7th. Okay, let's see. Shows. I think when we do rewards, I might, I might need to set a limit on the numbers that I read. It might not be realistic to read all of them every time, you know? It may be I just read the first 10 or something. As fun as it is, it does. Oh, did, did uh, oh, Phil A also unlock Tubi's color? Did it mess up and not include the variable? When you did it, did it have that hashtag color? It did, missing color 101. It shouldn't be saying color 101. It should just say, why is it doing that? 101. So it's changing the color, right? It's just not, um, it's just messed up the, uh, or it's not working at all. Oh, it's not changing colors at all, is it? It's broken. Oh, maybe those aren't, you know, maybe, oh, I know what it might be. Are those not actually allowed colors? Maybe those colors are not allowed. We only can use the colors from, uh... oh, no, red and blue are definitely there. Okay, so let me refund, uh, let me refund Megan and, and, and Paul and Phil and, um, Oh, can I do, can I do this to two people? 
Can I do this at the same time? So something happened to Tubi Goer. Oh, it did work. Sweet. Okay, so I'll figure out why Tubi Goer isn't working after the show. Tubi Goer. Polywog became Paul. <laughs> oh, that quote. Okay. We did four tracks tonight. It was part of our Space Scraps show, named by Soda. We did Cherry Pie at Sunrise collapsing into shape, Leave a Message at the Beat, and Glint Eastwood. I think all these songs were in... Were they all in a... Were they all... Did they all start in Mixolydian? No. Oh no, just the last two. <laughs> Why did I think they all started? Okay. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, let me try to do two B colors. Let's see if it's. Well, see that time it that time it it didn't change the color but it did uh oh wait maybe um Definitely has something to do with the change I made to how bot. There have, have there any, have there been any other um, variables that didn't get converted today's show or last show? Do our uh, shout out. Let's thank our, our mods, our superstar mods. We had Buddy, Dom, Giacomo, Megs. Thank you, mods. Wait. Why didn't that work? Um, probably because I had to restart. Okay, it's not going to show our donations. Um, Something happened. Let me find it a different way. It's not going to show it on screen, but uh, let's see. Let's let me thank. Um, uh, we had uh, support tonight from Polly, from Megs, from uh, T. Abichir, 
Another donation from Polly, donation from Soho, from Polly, thank you, Evelo, thank you. Uh, cheer from Tiab. Uh, uh, donation from Phil, thank you. And yeah. Thanks to all our lurkers and chatters. Let's do our shout out. These 20 names you see on the screen, other named our current tour, named our venue, named one of our songs and made a request on one of the songs. We featured Billy Ocean, AKA Buddy Chugger, Dom Blues, Dual Doug, Sticky, Evelo, GD Bill, Jamaxmas, Kid 58, Lonster, Megs, Mold Over, Mute 2, Polywog, Polly, Swank 245, TM, Tubi, and Wow 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 Soda. Whoops, what did I just press? Oh no, did that not work either? Do we not have, uh, do we not have, um, it is uh, thanks Polly Pisces thanks for the joyful music and the painful laughter Doug says I'm gone two days and everything breaks Doug, we we did we pulled off the uh, the the recipes. We unlocked the uh, the recipe food rewards. It was crazy. I knew we didn't survive it. Oops. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's stay on the screen then. Um, oh, let's raid. Um, let's raid. Let's raid, let's raid, we're gonna raid Mitch. Awesome, awesome drummer. Um, if I, if Tubi will let me. Okay, thanks everyone. I hope to see y'all uh, very soon. If not, it won't let me leave it. <laughs> These credits just keep going. If not tomorrow or Saturday for music streams and Sunday for our storytelling stream. If not then, then sometime next week, Tuesday through Sunday. If not, oh, and Tuesday, Tuesday, we're doing our, our we're doing the rescheduled public domain day show celebrating some of the works that um, uh, have been freed from the chains of copyright and are now available for us to do whatever we want with. Those ha that happens every January 1st, legally. And I like to honor that. Um, oh, Doug just gifted a Bam Badly to Dom. The Dom Dude 64 tag is Quintet Trample In. Not trampoline, trampoline. Their favorite spot they hear is space scraps. Ah, oh, space scraps. Below the regular blue line. They were discovered in 1994 by Humberto Lazeri. 
Their latest track, Road to Man, is excited to hear their recordings of 272,000. Okay, let's get this raid countdown started. We're gonna uh, give some some ETC love to Mitch. Again, awesome drummer, awesome guy. Okay. Hey, Broers, how are you? Hope you all have a wonderful whatever comes next. I'll see you soon. Take care.